I'm Anelia and welcome back to my channel. I think this is like the fourth part of my Speak Like a Bohemian series. Can I call it a series? I don't know, but this is part four. And just like in the last video, I'm going to be going over Bohemian words, slang, phrases that Bohemians use a lot. We're just gonna hop right into this video. The first on my list is a roach on my bread. But I have a song about this. And that's, I think, where the saying comes from. I say, why me roach on my bread? What the hell I do to she roach on my bread? For her to go and cheat on me roach on my bread. Ooh, baby, ooh, we roach on my bread. I'll probably link the song in the description box below if I remember. Hopefully I do. I really, really hope I do. Roach on my bread. When we think of roaches, roaches are nasty. They're disgusting. They're dirty. They're just, they're gross, right? Bread, when you think of bread, think of a woman's hoo-ha, think of a woman's cootie cat, think of a woman's private area. That's bread, right? So basically, if a woman is having an affair on her boyfriend or her husband, then somebody will say roach on my bread or roach on your bread. Meaning the roach, meaning the person your wife cheating on you with or your girlfriend is cheating on you with, they the roach and they on her bread. You get it? Roach on my bread. I think you get it. The next one, you think guys play. Or you can say, you take me for joking. If you say, you think guys play or you take me for joke, that means somebody doesn't take you seriously. Don't you take me seriously? You take me for joking. If somebody says, play push out, play, that means get out of my face, move, leave now. Leave right now, like now. If somebody says that you are big eye, not that you have big eyes, but that you big eye, but she big eye, eh? That means she likes nice things. She likes expensive things. She big eye. And it doesn't, it don't even have to be a she. It could be a he. It could very much be a he. He's can be big eye too. Lil movie. <laughs> it don't even have to be lil movie. It could be just movie. And no, you're not going to the theater to watch a movie or a lil movie. A movie is your love interest, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. You don't usually call a wife or a husband your movie. You usually call like a girlfriend, a boyfriend, especially if it's a new relationship or somebody you're just talking to, you're gonna refer to that person as your movie or your little movie. For instance, if me and my boyfriend had just gotten together or even how we're boyfriend and girlfriend now, I can say something along the lines of, I go in by my little movie or I go in by my movie. That means I'm going by my boyfriend, I'm going by my girlfriend, I'm going by my boo, I'm going by my baby, I'm going by this person that I'm talking to. I'm going by my little movie. Jam up. I use this word a lot. I feel like I've used this word on this channel before and I wasn't sure if it was an American word or not. Jam up means crowded or cramped or just very uncomfortable, you're in a confined space, you're jammed up. I refer to myself as jam up sometimes because, I mean, I'm tiny, I'm very compact, but the word jam up mainly refers to an area or a place or like inside a vehicle. We need to take separate cars because this car jam up. All five of us can't fit in you. Okay, so this one, my number fall. I mentioned in the last video that Bahamians love to gamble and usually if the number that they bet on is that if that's the winning number then we say my number fall. But she's sweet eh? If somebody mainly a male they say but she's sweet eh? She's so sweet. They're saying that the woman that they're talking about the woman they're referencing she's very beautiful. She's attractive he is attracted to her they is go we is go going means dating that's all it means we're dating we're together brethren that's your boy your dog your friend that person who's like a a brother or a sister to you that's your brethren this one joke joke means to stab sometimes you may hear people say jick joke jick he jick him right up jick joke you can use them interchangeably. They mean the same thing. Nanny. This is kind of disgusting. I hate this word. I say poop. I can't stand the word nanny. It's poop. Also, growing up, I wasn't really allowed to say the word nanny because it just didn't seem ladylike. So it was a no for me. But you're going to hear a lot of Bohemians say nanny if they're referring to poop. This one. 
Stop slapping up. You're not doing what you're supposed to do or what you promised you'd do. So for instance, let's say I promised that I would cook my boyfriend's favorite food. He likes pasta. Let's say I promised my boyfriend to make pasta and I'm doing everything in my power not to make this pasta. He would say to me, but stop slapping up. You promised me pasta. Another one, solid, voluptuous, curvy bodies are worshipped in the Bahamas. Air bagging or on air. It's almost the same thing as slapping up. It could be that you lied that you were gonna do something and then you don't do it or you're taking too long to do something that you said you were gonna do. You'll say, but you air bagging. Frowsy. Frowsy means you stink. And by stink, I'm talking about usually body odor stink. So when you hear a Bahamian call you frowsy, but you frowsy or you smell frowsy, they're saying you smell funky, like body odor type of funky. Centipede. Oh, those are so nasty. I hate centipedes. But centipedes we call centipede. True and right. That's just something that you say at the beginning of whatever it is you're gonna say. True and right, I want some cereal. True and right, I go in on the road. True and right, I go and sleep. I don't know why we say it, we just say true and right. Trolley, in America, I think you guys have many names for it. Some people I heard call them carts. Some people I heard call them buggies or boogies. Basically, the, the shopping cart, the thing that you roll around in the store, in the, in, in, when you go grocery shopping, we call it a trolley. If you hear a Bahamian say, your head picky now, or your hair picky, that's somebody with short, unhealthy hair. And it's normally used as an insult. So if you ever hear a Bahamian say, but your head picky now, they're insulting you. They are, without a doubt, insulting you. Without a doubt. Gugamite. But he was all Gugamite way. That's somebody calling you ugly. That one go all over. That could basically mean like you're done with a situation or you're done with a person. So for instance, let's say you and a friend get in a disagreement. That friend goes on social media, puts all your, air out all your dirty laundry on, on social media and then you two physically fight about it. And you and you promise yourself right then and there that the, the friendship is over. It's done for. It's over. It's never coming back. You would say, but that won't go all over, but that means you're not expecting that friendship to ever come back. It's done. It's it's gone. It's it's deleted. It's poof. That won't go all over. Okay, 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 okay. Junk canoe. Without having to go into too much details and explain too much, it's basically a street parade that came about during the slave days in the Bahamas around Christmas time. Um, it happened on Boxing Day, the day after Christmas, where slaves would dress up and parade around in the streets making music, using conch shells and other stuff. They'd use sponge from the sea to make their costumes. And in modern day, this parade has evolved and is now this big, huge, it's this massive street parade that many, if not all, Bahamians look forward to during the holidays. We also have smaller Junkanoo parades um, during the summer and other parts of the year, other times of the year, like maybe we'll have a Junkanoo rush out. We call it a rush out. Um, we'll have a Junkanoo rush out, maybe like say on Independence Day and stuff like that during Summerfest and all those things. But the main and the biggest parades are Boxing Day, which is December 26th and New Year's Day. And when I say it, it has evolved, it has evolved into now the instruments are different. We use um horns and goat skin drums and cowbells whistles all these different things the costumes are so beautiful um you have these very elaborate elaborate colorful beautiful costumes made of feathers and crepe paper very colorful it's a whole lot you have a lot of dancing going on the music is amazing it's just like a fun time so jump canoe ever visit the bahamas Make sure you go around Christmas or New Year so you can go to Junkanoo. If you go in the summer, you know, the Junkanoo parades, we're still going to have them. They're just not going to be to the scale that they are in the Christmas and the New Year's. There are going to be less Junkanoo costumes and stuff. But it's still very much enjoyable any time of the year. Saxons in your belly!
We just finished talking about Junk New. What I forgot to mention with Junk New is it's now a competition. So there are these big groups and there are even smaller groups too and they all compete during Christmas and New Year's, during the Junk New Parade. Who has the best costumes, the best music, the best dancers? Who has the whole package? And there are different groups. One of those groups is One Family. Another one is Roots. Another one is the Valley Boys. Another one is what? Did I say One Family? Genesis. You have Colors. That's the group. Fancy Dances. And then you have Saxons. I am a Saxons, okay? I'm a Saxons fan. So when you say Saxons in your belly, that's basically you repping that you are a Saxons fan. Gumbe, a Bahamian soda. You may hear variations. You may hear Junk New Punch or Gumbe Punch. Or to shorten it, people may say Junk New or Gumbe, but they're talking about the soda. You know what tastes good? Bahamian KFC with some gumbe. Bahamian KFC, get the spicy wings and the spicy barbecue wings, some fries, a biscuit, and some gumbe or some junk new punch. They're the same thing. Like I said, you can use it interchangeably. That's that why. I don't care what nobody says. Bahamian KFC, Bahamian fast food on the whole tastes way different than American fast food. So gumbe is a festival, but it is also a Bohemian soda. If you don't remember the old Gombe punch uh, or the Junk New punch soda can, you too young. You really too young. You too young. Uh, but they re they uh, have a new one out and it's just as good. But yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye y'all.